welcome back to my channel. My name is April and today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome recycled jacket right here. I made it out of six old t-shirts. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more DIY fashion and let's get started. I have so many t-shirts from events I went to or given to me as a souvenir and I'm starting to run out of space for them in my drawers. What I do need more of is jackets because I'm always cold. So let's get started. I use six different t-shirts for this project and each one is a different color with prints on them. If you want a random color block jacket, you can leave your t-shirt as is, but I decided to dye all of my t-shirts black so they're a similar shade. After washing and drying the shirts the first time, the color wasn't as strong, I think because I didn't have enough dye for all the shirts. Also, the shirts that were blue will mix with the black dye and turn into a dark navy color instead of pure black. I ended up buying some more dye and repeated the process so some of the shirts could be even darker. The top three shirts have more of a blue undertone and the bottom three are more gray which will work out perfectly for this jacket because I can have the three gray shirts for the outside of the jacket and the three darker shirts for the jacket lining. Starting out with the outside jacket layer, decide which shirt will be the jacket body, the sleeves, and the hoodie. Then cut off the sleeves from the main shirt and cut through the center front so that it can open up like a jacket. To make the sleeves, I fold the second shirt in half and use the sleeves from the first shirt as a pattern, extending the length to create longer sleeves. If your shirt has a design on it, you can decide if you want it to show on the outside or not by simply just flipping it over to whichever side you want to be right side together. Then sew the sleeves down the underarm seam. Next, pin the new sleeves to the armhole and sew them together. Since the t-shirts are stretchy, you should sew them with a stretch stitch or zigzag stitch. Taking a jacket I own at home, I copy the same shape of the neckline and make changes to the shirt. And then I traced out the hood of my jacket and cut it out of the third grade t-shirt. Cut out all the same pieces from the next three shirts and repeat the same steps to create the lining jacket. Moving on to the hoodie, sew the curved seam closed, then pin it along the neckline and sew it together. I'm only working on the outer jacket layer here, but you will repeat the same thing to the lining layer. I'll be using the leftover sleeves from one of the shirts as the pockets. Just decide where you want them to be placed, trim them to your desired shape, and top stitch them down. Now that we have two jacket layers with hoods and sleeves and pockets attached, we can face them right side together. And I'm first going to start by sewing the two hoods together. And after that, I unzipped and detached my metal zipper and will be sewing them individually to each side. I found it best to pin the zipper in place on both sides first to make sure everything is lined up. For example, making sure the bottom of the zipper hits the bottom of the jacket at the same spot. The last time I sewed a metal detachable zipper, it was really wavy and someone in the comments suggested I pull on the zipper while I sew to prevent that from happening. I did try that out. I'm not sure if I was doing it correctly, but I think it helped a little compared to not doing it at all. If you know why this happens to metal zippers and have any tips for the rest of us experiencing this, please leave a comment down below. I only sewed the zipper to the outer jacket layer first and now I can sandwich the lining layer over it and sew it at an eighth of an inch behind the first stitching so that the lining doesn't get in the way of the zipper and get caught underneath.
To finish off the sleeves, I trimmed the bottom evenly and will create cuffs using one of the darker shirts for a color block look. The cuff should fold in half so it's double layered and it should be big enough to wrap around your wrist. I wouldn't make it too tight though because t-shirt material isn't the stretchiest. Fold the cuffs in half vertically and sew the open side closed. Then fold it in half again so the raw edges are on the inside and stretch and sew them to the bottom of the sleeves. My cuffs were too small to fit the sleeves so I gathered the bottom of the sleeves with a basing stitch first and pulled on the strings until the sleeves fit the cuffs. Face the cuff right sides together to the sleeve and sew them together. Lastly, sew the two jacket layers together along the hood so they act as one and top stitch along the edge of the hood for a clean look. To finish off the bottom of the jacket, I simply just lined up the two t-shirt layers at the bottom and top stitched them together. And I'm finished. My favorite part about this project was how imperfect everything was. I didn't fold the raw edges of the pockets under for a clean look. Some of the pieces are sewn very unevenly and obviously there are different prints from the t-shirts in random areas, but it feels good to not care and need everything to be perfect. I highly recommend you tackle a project like this with your old t-shirts and have fun recycling it into something new and more useful to you. DIY fashion and share my channel with all of your friends and I'll see you next time. Bye!